The way I see it, there are three types of character rigs out there. The ones you find online, sometimes they're free and they're awful. And you can tell why they're free because the wrist just candy wrapper and you have all kinds of problems. You don't want to use those. Sometimes they're really expensive and you have no way to really vet them and they're also very overpriced. I'm looking at you, Turbo Squid. And no hate to the artists who are making these rigs because we all have to start somewhere, but the point is that if you want to get a job in animation or do a short film or do something that could be seen as a professional step in your career, you want a professional tool to help you along the way. Not this. On the other side of the spectrum, we have studio quality rigs. The stuff that you'd find at Disney, DreamWorks, Pixar, the studios that have the really big budgets, teams of people doing rigging and animation, talking to each other, having TDs to help fix the problems. This is the kind of stuff that we all dream of and you can't have it because it's at the studios, it's locked down and you don't have access, so no. But most of the character rigs that we're using on the day-to-day -day just live somewhere in the middle. That second category is just everything else. Sometimes it's aspiring artists making stuff to grow their skills. Sometimes it's professional artists who are making stuff for the community. And the quality is mixed. Sometimes you'll have rigs that have all the features you could possibly want and others that don't have hardly anything that you need. So in my case, I've got like five or six rigs that I go to for most of my needs because they've got everything I want or at least close to it. In the last couple of years, we've seen more options pop up in this middle section that you can buy or you can grab online. And I don't want to discount how good some of these rigs are. There's some really good ones. So just wanted to point that out. They're all going to be very different in terms of the controls, the UI, how they behave, how they deform, things like that. So it's just something to factor in. Back to the video. And in case you didn't know, modeling, texturing, and rigging a full character start to finish, and one that's good, is expensive. It takes a lot. Which is why, if you haven't noticed, a lot of the best characters that are the closest to that studio quality those characters are usually exclusive to schools. Animation Mentor or Anim School have some of the best ones on the market, but these schools can be expensive and so not everybody can get access to these rigs. It's one of the biggest questions I get on this YouTube channel is how to get access to some of the characters that I'm using. This is where a challenger approaches. So this is Pro Rigs. This is a new site that just came out, it just launched, and it has a ton of characters off drop. We've got like 40 characters here. And they're all in these different collections. This is a rig subscription site, so you pay the monthly subscription, you get access to all the rigs. A lot of people's first response is gonna to be to say, I don't wanna pay a subscription, I just wanna pay for the rigs. Nope, that's not how it works. This is not the first rig subscription to exist, and even if you're kind of subscription averse and you usually don't like that, I understand, but you should still be considering this because if you are trying to get a job as an animator at some studio, the better your tools are, the easier it's gonna to be to do your thing. These were designed, modeled, textured, rigged, tested. These were created by professional artists who know what they're doing, who make the characters that you've watched on screen for however many years. I'm going to be doing some reviews, talking about them and diving into the stuff. They're not all perfect. I've got some thoughts on some things that I think could be added in future versions, various other stuff, but these are some of the best rigs I've ever messed with. So as far as the quality slider goes, we're in a really good spot. And then as far as like style, I didn't really mention this, but if you wanted to do a shot with two or three characters, you kind of have to stick with characters of the same style. They have to fit within the world. And so if you go to Animation Mentor or Anim School, it works out because you get access to a bunch of characters that look good together. Otherwise, if you get like Apollo and Artemis, that's fine, they work great together, but it's kind of hard to mix characters from different collections from the internet because stylistically they may not work together. And then of course, functions and features and all that kind of stuff, just for your own workflow, it's gonna be very different. A little higher, oh no, lower, a stop, oh, that's it. These characters were created with that sort of studio feeling in mind. They're all consistent across the board. If you understand how one works, you'll understand how they all work. So it will cut down your time of learning how the rigs work and how to mess with each one individually. And in case anyone's wondering, I'm not sponsored to say any of this. Like I know the team who built this and they're great, 
they aren't paying me to talk about this or anything. I've just been so excited to share this with you because I've known that they've been working on this for a while and I've been testing it. And I'm just stoked I can finally show it to you because it's cool. So let's talk about the subscription. You've got individual, school, and commercial. If you are a student, you should pressure your school to get the subscription so you get access to it there. That's a good plan. Uh, but for everybody else, individual, it is 20 bucks a month, which I think ends up being like 50 cents per character. And I work with a lot of animators over on my Patreon. I do mentorships and tutoring and all that kind of stuff. So link below if you want to look into that. But I know the 20 bucks a month for some people is like, sweet, easy, what a deal. A lot of characters love it. And for others, that's like, ooh, I don't know if I want to swing that. Totally get it. Tools like Animbot, things like Pro Rigs, there are subscriptions that are worth it. It's worth considering. And so just wanted to touch on that. It also comes with built-in shaders for Arnold. So if you wanted to actually render your animations, Play Blasting works great and the characters are built to look good in the viewport, but they also have Arnold, like the shaders are compatible with Arnold so they'll auto convert. You don't have to do anything. And I have videos to make sure your Play Blast look good, your lighting, things like that. So there's a lot of stuff already built in for that. Or if you actually want to render, they're like ready to go. I'm going to get a lot of questions on whether this works in Blender. It does not. These characters are from Maya. Also, I think due to the whole like licensing plugin and everything, I don't think that works in Blender, the whole open source nature of the software. This is a Maya tool. And if you're looking for resources on how to animate in Maya, that's what my channel is for. So, you know, like and subscribe. But just as a reminder, I've been trying to make sure people know about this in recent videos. Don't pay for Maya commercial. Everyone says Maya is super expensive because it used to be Maya Indie came out it's like 290 bucks a year, which is on par with Houdini and Cinema 4D and things like that. Get Maya Indie if you're not a student and can't get it for free anymore. So just heads up. These rigs are really fast. That's one of the most important things about this is not only do they have a bunch of features and they look really good, but they're fast and easy to work with. So I just wanted to point that out. And they've got their story here. So if you want to read more about the team who built Pro Rigs and why and things like that, I also wanted to point out the FAQ page. You can find it here and they have a bunch of stuff in here that I would normally talk about, but I can kind of just point you here instead. There's a bunch of information on installation. There's stuff for in here. You can find the getting started videos. This is a good place to look if you're considering buying these rigs because they show you not only how to install, how to get the picker working, which pickers are really cool. They're just big interfaces to use while animating. Some people swear by them. There's a bunch of different video examples, but some of the ones I really want you to check out are these videos show you how the rigs are set up how they are broken down so that you know how to actually use the rigs properly, like you would at a studio. And one of the most important things is these characters have a whole different setup for how the face works, how the eyes and the brows work is unlike most other rigs that I've ever seen. The only thing that might be important for people to know is often when you get a subscription based thing, it works on two computers. Pro Rigs doesn't. It works on the one computer that you set it up for. So if you are getting the subscription and you put it on your main computer, you will not be able to just like log out and log back in on your laptop if you have two machines. There's a video on license transferring and there's customer service if you have any issues. That's one thing that you should know that I wish you could have it for two, but either way, it's a one license thing. So just know that and put it on your main computer the first time so you don't have any issues. Let's roll some example clips of what these look like in action. I talk to my fish. <laughs> it's very funny. Um, I talk to my fish and I also feed my fish. Mm. Bird? No, Clunky. That's a butterfly. Butterfly. <laughs> so yeah, overall, really appealing, professional looking rigs with interesting character designs. But yeah, it's been a while since I've done character rig reviews. I'm gonna be doing those again for some of these characters. So if you have any that you're really interested in seeing, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. If you do end up signing up and you go to the little, how did you hear about us? Let them know I sent you. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you get a lot out of this new rig service. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.